good effort there um, so for your man of the match. Uh, if you can take us to your performance for the, for tonight. Uh, so well, um, start off with the ball, try to put it in the right areas consistently as I could. Um, it's a little bit in the wicket um, up front. Um, so just trying to get the ball, like I said, consistently in the right areas, get the batters playing straight. Um, Hopefully pick up a few wickets. Uh, then bowling through through the middle, uh, just try to dry it, keep it as dry as I could, and then at the death again, same sort of thing, keep it dry. Um, and then with the bat, um, credit goes to this man on my right. Um, it's very easy for me at the end there, just to, for us just to keep ticking it over. Um, and luckily we uh, managed to get it done today. So when you guys joined in together, you guys had 58 needed and 57 balls, and you almost. Uh, it looked like there was an ugly, um, you know, a run out between you and um, Callum McLeod, who was really set and who's basically your batting mainstay. How, how did that did, did that affect you mentally? Um, definitely did because he was on in 60 and the guy he was in. So I mean, I think we could have won it probably easier with him in if he played all all overs. Um, but I think we just had to deal with it as quickly as possible and turn it around. And this man here made it easy for me. Came in, had a few few boundaries and. Uh, but, um, Guys, going to be honest. Uh, what sort of message did did he have um, coming in for you? Was there any sort of uh, specific planning against specific bowlers? I think it was just um, going in, uh, looking to hit strong shots, hit the, hit the strong shots straight, and try to rotate the strike as much as we can. And if we do get one in our strength, we look to try to hit a boundary. Um, that was the plan. We tried to keep it as simple as possible, um, but unfortunately, we lost him. Obviously. From my mistake there, um, we hesitated a little bit, but um, we got the job done. Josh came in and played a nice superb innings. Um, uh, there was a major shift in momentum um, when you took apart Ian Holland in uh, in one of his um, maybe it was a 48th over or 47th over. Um, so you hit one straight down the ground and cut him uh, through point as well. Take us um, through that over. Well, to, that was the over we decided to target. Um, we felt like. Um, hitting this way, hitting down towards the, the net, so it felt like an easier hit. Um, so we both decided, yeah, this this will be the over we would try and look look to score. Um, and again, we managed to get a few away. Then that brought the run rate down, so uh, it, it kind of switched, switched the momentum back in our favour. So we did uh, just go and run a ball. And um, Rusty Teron as well, the, just the over after that. Um, did you guys target Rusty Theron as well? Uh, were, I, I see that you guys maneuvered the field pretty well in, in, in that over. Hit it bowl a, a few bad balls, but uh, it, the execution was perfect from both of you. If you can uh, suck in. I think, um, I mean, he was, he was hitting heavy um, channels and he was bowling really well. And we just tried to look to use the pace, play strong shots, and uh, we managed to get a few in the gaps, which made it easier for us to chase those last 11 runs. So, I mean, I think the plans were there and we just executed really well. Mm -hmm. um, was there any sort of um, planning uh, before the game on USA's death bowlers that they, what kind of areas they hit, um, what kind of balls they bowled during the death overs? Were you guys uh, kind of ready for what was coming in your end? I think these days you, you play some dimension of the ground a bit. Um, so we knew the guys from the top end, it feels like it's a long hit out this side, so they're going to use the wicket, bang it in, take the pace off it, and potentially that's going to look to be switched that end. You're going to probably go go fuller and uh, look to get Yorkers in again with the occasional change up so um, sometimes the field can can determine what the bowler is going to bowl so I think we, we were looking at that um, and obviously it's a little bit of second guessing as well so uh, wonderful performance out there thank you very much thank you, thank you. Cheers.